Well, if you live in Greater Victoria, this is your chance to take part in an important community checkup. It's called the Vital Signs Survey and measures the well-being of the capital region. But as Veronica Cooper tells us, there's a deadline. So I took some um, handouts uh, to City Hall today. Um, oh, perfect. Lisa said that she'd uh, put them out for us. Staff from the Victoria Foundation are brainstorming about how to get the word out that the Vital Signs Survey is happening until July 1st. Vital Signs has been rooted in the community since we started in 2006. For residents of all ages across Greater Victoria, the survey is your opportunity to shape your community. It is so important to have the voice of this whole community and for them to understand that we're listening to them, that if they do this survey, that's going to make a huge difference. Think of the Vital Signs Survey as an annual community checkup. About the, the region, uh, what they think is worth uh, celebrating, uh, the things they think needs, needs improvement, and how they rate the, uh, the different areas of, uh, of the region. The Victoria Foundation tabulates the responses over the summer and produces an in-depth report of survey results each fall. Those results help shape the Foundation's granting program. We have statistics that show year after year what happens to the granting program due to the input of citizens into the survey and vital signs. The survey is available on the Victoria Foundation website until July 1st. We want to have broad representation from the community, so all the different demographic sections of the community, whether it's seniors or youth or the uh, folks that are um, single parents or unemployed folks, students, uh, everyone, uh, we really want to get their voices into the report. Click on our links tab to take the Vital Signs Survey. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation, celebrating 80 years of connecting people who care with causes that matter.